Well, up next is a story that really grabbed our attention this week. A couple in Toronto came back from being out of town and found out that someone had sold their home. Not only that, there were new owners living in. The police are right now searching for two suspects who allegedly sold this couple's house. They used fake ID to do so. The buyers had already signed the papers. They were living in the house by the time that the rightful owners returned and found out what had happened. So join us to explain how this happens and what the recourse is, is Toronto real estate lawyer, Mark Morris. Good morning to you. Good morning, Emory. How are you? It, it, I am fascinated to learn more because I, I understand that fraud is involved, but just the mechanisms of how this happened. First off, uh, there is an extensive list of documents uh, needed to sell a house. Anybody who's done that knows this process. So then how did a house get sold from fake people? <laughs> right. Well, there is uh, the documentation that attests to identity are the standard identities that you would expect. I mean, uh, both a realtor and a lawyer uh, who then double checks uh, the IDs uh, relies on verification and they have to use certain ID in order to do it. Uh, driver's license, uh, credit cards, um, really all manner of ID, perhaps except for health card for reasons I don't need to go into. Um, all of that is verified and ascertained by the requisite professionals that are dealing with the transaction. Um, and similar to any ID, ID can be faked. And if in fact a professional runs a runs afoul of fake ID and doesn't catch it, uh, then of course we could end up in the situation that we see ourselves uh, here in, in this story. So if they find the suspects, then they are going to be charged with uh, fraud because they used fake identification in order to perpetrate this crime, which was selling a home that didn't belong to them. Let's talk about the people who live there. The people who thought they were buying a home and moved in now don't own that home. Why? Well, why they don't own that home is because uh, lawyers are empowered to convey property through the land registry. They have conveyed that property through the land registry, as it turns out, improperly. Uh, and so the question isn't so much why. We can identify that. The question is what now? Uh, what, what happens to both of the innocent parties, the purchasers who didn't, weren't aware of the fraud and the sellers who obviously weren't engaged in the fraud? Um, how do you rectify two competing interests? And so what I'm happy you, to speak to that, by the way. Yeah, what do you think will happen? What will happen to the people who now thought they bought a home, don't have one? Will they get their money back? Uh, and then what happens to those who are being, you know, if they find them, who will be charged? Well, the thing about fraud is that it's not a new development. And even though the law moves slowly, given hundreds and hundreds of years, um, we have seen this before. And there's actually case law as to exactly what happens in these circumstances. Um, and I mean, I could talk about the legal doctrine that's at play, but at its crux, the law is pretty clear. Uh, the original homeowners will receive back their home. They have to bring what's called a vesting order to the court. Um, and the court will, if case law proves correct, and it usually proves correct, um, the court will reaward the original homeowners their house. And the purchasers who purchase the property uh, will equally be made whole through financial recompense, um, through their title insurance policies, or through something called the Land Assurance Fund, which is run by the province and ensures the accuracy of the land titles system. Um, so in both instances, they will be made whole. The person who will take the loss in this instance uh, is likely going to be the title insurer uh, title insurance is a type of insurance that every person who purchases their home usually acquires. Certainly, if you have a mortgage, you have it. So don't worry. You don't right. need to go check your records. You definitely have it if you have a mortgage on your property right? Uh, because it's a requirement. And title insurance, as a matter of course, yeah. covers this very eventuality. Hey, Mark, thanks for updating us on the story. Good to know that everybody will be made whole. But, you know, the sad fact is these kinds of crimes are, are on the rise. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, and Marie, I appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.